Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at uh, NCA Level 3 Probability Distributions Achievement Standard. So some of the skills uh, demonstrated in this video will be uh, focusing on uh, binomial distribution. We'll be looking at uh, conditions of binomial uh, distribution followed by an example. In my previous video, I've already gone through uh, different types of um, data and um, the uh, distributions that are associated with those. If you haven't already, please do check that uh, video out. Binomial distribution is uh, a discrete uh, probability distribution. The prefix bi means two, which implies uh, two outcomes. So in this case, we'll be simply looking at the probability of um, a success or failure as the two outcomes. And uh, in general, if uh, you're given a number of trials and uh, probability of success in each trial, then uh, the uh, probability of x successes in uh, n trials will be given by the binomial distribution uh, which is uh, n x in this case this part here denotes the combination we can also write n c x uh, probability of success raised to the power of x into 1 minus p to the power of n minus x now 1 minus p is the failure because the total probability will always add to 1. So if I'm saying probability of success is P, then 1 minus P is the probability of failure. And then uh, raised to the power of N minus X. And before you use the uh, binomial uh, distribution, you will need to uh, see that it meets the uh, four conditions listed here. So first one is uh, the fixed number of trials. So um, fixed number of trials must be mentioned and uh, the second one is each trial is independent that means the outcome of uh, one trial will not have uh, any influence or effect on the second trial and uh, uh, thereafter and then the third one is that there are only two possible outcomes for each trial for example pass or fail and uh, the fourth one is the probability of success uh, p at each trial is uh, consistent so it remains constant uh, for each uh, a trial so that's what we are assuming for this one so in short uh, we can go uh, fit p so f for fixed number of trials i for independent t for two outcomes and p for probability of uh, success each trial is uh, consistent so we'll quickly have a look at uh, one example it says uh, if the probability of passing a practical driving test in auckland is 85 uh, percent uh, what is the probability that four of the next seven learner drivers will pass their practical driving test. And what you will need to do first is uh, see if um, the scenario given is a binomial distribution. So what we can deduce from this is uh, we given uh, the um, uh, number of people here, learner drivers, and uh, that will be classed as a discrete um, data because we can count number of um, uh, drivers there and uh, then we need to check um, whether it meets the four conditions uh, for binomial distribution so we are told that um, it has got fixed number of trials in this case seven learner drivers so yes uh, we know that uh, it has got fixed number of trials so that's one of the conditions for binomial distribution it's meeting each trial is independent so what this means is the instructor does not care if uh, last person uh, passed or failed the uh, uh, driving test. The third one is uh, there are only two possible outcomes. The uh, uh, learner driver will either pass or fail the uh, driving test. And the last one, probability of success is consistent. So in this case, we are told that uh, the uh, probability of passing a practical test in uh, Auckland is 85%. So the probability is 0.85. We are confident that it meets all the four conditions of binomial distribution. So we can uh, go ahead and use the binomial distribution formula and work out the probability. So using this formula, we can uh, now substitute. So uh, the parameters given are n is equal to 7, uh, which is the number of trials. x is equal to 4. We want uh, 4 of the next uh, 7 drivers to pass. And the probability is 0 0.85, 85% uh, success rate. Uh, using this information, we'll substitute uh, this in the um, equation there. So probability when x is equal to 4 is equal to 7 c4 now c is the combination part so for the next uh, seven drivers uh, we'll pass the test so seven combination four uh, 0 0.85 to the power of uh, uh, x which is uh, four in this case 
and then uh, 0 0.15 how i got 0 0.15 is i uh, go 1 minus 0 0.85 because 8 0 0.85 is uh, success so this one is failure so failure is 15 uh, percent the raise to the power of n minus x so 7 minus 4 is 3 and then 7 combination 4 is equal to 35 so using the graphics calculator we can uh, quickly get that uh, value from the run mode i will go option then click f6 f3 and this one displays uh, factorial permutations combinations and random number so in this case i need uh, seven combination uh, four because the question says uh, four of the next seven linear drivers will pass the test and you can see that um, comes to uh, 35 now substituting 35 uh, in the equation so 35 into 0 0.85 to the power of 4 times 0 0.15 uh, cubed uh, gives you a probability of 0 0.0617 so the probability that uh, four of the next uh, seven lena drivers will pass their practical driving test is 0 0.0617 thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video